Okay, so this topic is called information transfer and the learning objective is you will summarize the importance of information transfer to living systems. And remember our, what the characteristics of living systems. Let's just uh, run it down again. Living systems, so the characteristics are living systems can grow and develop. They can carry on a self-regulated metabolism. They can reproduce and they can also respond to stimuli. But how do these living systems know how to perform these complicated functions? Um, they're very precise functions. Well, living systems use communication. Communication can be seen also in a cellular level. Cells can communicate by chemical signals, electrical impulses, And in complex animals, uh, they use behavior. So this can be seen in complex animals. In 1953, James Watson and Francis Crick worked out the structure for DNA. or DNA. DNA oops, is a large molecule made up of genes. And genes are the units of hereditary material. Watson and Crick's work led to the understanding of the genetic code that transmit genetic information from generation to generation. This code works somewhat like an alphabet. It can spell out an amazing variety of instructions for making organisms as diverse as frogs, bacteria, and redwood trees. So essentially, genes code for DNA, and DNA is composed of recipes, we call it, um, to create proteins. And proteins are large molecules that determine the structure and function of tissues and cells. So I just used the word spell um, as in terms of what genes can do. So let's take a look at this sentence. Science is fun. I'm going to underline, so we're going to do, what we're going to do is we're going to determine the genes here. The genes are the individual letters. And when genes come together, they code for DNA. And so the genes here code for the DNA for the word science. The genes code here for the DNA for is, the word is. And this codes for the DNA for the word fun. The DNA linked together to form proteins, and this whole structure is the protein. So let's just label that. So these are, the red is in our genes, the blue is DNA, and the green are the, is the protein that is created by DNA. So let's take a look at um, this perspective. There are 26 letters in the alphabet, and how many ways, how many different uh, combinations of letters can make a word? Well, there's billions and billions of different 
combinations of letters to perform words. So it's kind of, it's very similar to how genes are created. That's why they are they can code for so many in a variety of species and there, that's why there are so many there are about uh, millions and millions of species that can be identified today but what about those that are unidentified that haven't been identified yet so this is the power of genes so remember what I said about proteins proteins uh, are large is are large molecules whoops are large molecules that determine the structure and function of cells and tissues. Whoops, tissues. <clears throat> 